Friday CTA, where we give the contrast and we're looking for the very specific blockages. This is essentially, as it, I'm not sure, I'm not gonna ask if anyone's had a cardiac catheterization, but what it involves is you sitting on a table for like I don't know, 20 minutes, half hour. They take a needle, they stick in your groin, I don't want a needle in my groin, and they wire a catheter up into your aorta and they go to your coronary arteries and they inject them and they inject them and they give you some sedation so you don't really feel any of this. And what's the problem? Well, you can get problems here. You actually can occasionally cause heart attack by doing this. Uh, and you can cause problems with the blood vessels that are leading up to that, okay? So this is something, so our goal is to sort of replace that in people who are appropriate, all right? And some people are appropriate and some people aren't. If you come in with chest pain radiating to your left jaw and your left arm and you have hypertension and high blood pressure and all these things, if you, it's almost a classic case, you should not get a coronary CT. You should go to the cath, right? Because you're probably gonna need treatment. But if you're sort of in this gross intermediate group, then this is a very reasonable thing to do. Okay, and the advantages of CT is it's totally non-invasive. You put a little needle in your vein, we inject some contrast, you do a CT scan, you know, 10 minutes, you're out of there, all right? That's the goal. And when you have a negative test, in other words, you don't have any blockages, it's highly accurate. 